Okay, so to continue with our CIS control, so we are now in the second uh, part. This are the CIS application control. Okay, so this is uh, specific controls over the accounting application. So this is the purpose of our application controls. The purpose of uh, CIS application controls also is to establish specific control procedures over the application systems so that... Uh, it can provide reasonable assurance that all transactions are authorized and recorded and they are processed completely, accurately, and on a timely basis. So, in this case, uh, CIS application controls that relates to financial reporting purposes is uh, the concern of the auditor. Because the application controls relate to specific jobs, so they involve normally the input processing and output okay, uh, cycle. So, this application controls are broken down into input controls, processing controls, and output control. For the input controls, so these are controls over the source documents. Okay, so of course, um, this is very important so that the entity will know that only those authorized transactions are being recorded okay, in the books. For the input controls, they ensure that the transactions are properly authorized before they will be processed to the computer. Another is uh, these transactions also are accurately converted into machine-readable read, uh, form and recorded in the computer data files once they are uh, identified as authorized. The transactions are not lost, added, or duplicated and modified. And any incorrect transactions will be rejected, corrected, and resubmitted. So this is for the input controls. So it is widely recognized that the most common computer-related problem, normally this is caused by input error and omission. So from here, if this uh, input are correct, meaning processing and output will also be accurate. And uh, conversely, if the input are erroneous, then the output also will be misstated. Okay, so that's how important input controls are. Okay, so common examples of input controls include control totals. So control totals, this ensures that uh, completeness of the data and uh, before they are and after they are processed, meaning complete data are um, uh, are. Uh, process okay so meaning before it can be processed as an input uh, they should make sure that the source document is complete okay and they should also double check it in the output okay so common examples of input controls uh, include first control totals so we have what we call record count so record count this is a total uh, used to establish the number of source documents and reconcile it to the number of output that were recorded. Okay, so that is for record count. Another control total is batch, financial, or proof total. So this is a total of one numerical field for all the records of a batch that normally would be added. For example, total sales, all the sales in the, uh, or all the, uh, the daily sales were total, okay, for the week, for the month. Okay, this is uh, an example of batch financial or proof total. Another is hash total. So this is a control that is meaningless. Okay, and these are not, not normally added for financial purposes. For example, they total the department number. So this is not normally used. But this is part of uh, control totals as well. Another uh, is limit or reasonable test. Okay, so this is a control also used to determine whether the data exceeded certain predetermined limits. So if that data exceeds, then the program will not recognize or will not process it further. Okay, validity test. So this is a control used to ensure that transactions contain only valid transaction codes and characters. Uh, it is a test also made to ascertain whether a given characteristic belong to the group or else it will be rejected. So, if, uh, for example, the blank for gender in the case of IBIO data. So, this can only be answered either F for female or M for male. 
Okay, for example, if you enter the code W, so this will be considered invalid and will be rejected by the system because it is not recognized. Okay, so that's how it is in a uh, validity check test. Another is self-checking or check digit. So this is an algebraically determined digit produced by the other digits of the identification number that is added to the identification number to detect transmission or errors. This is just the code. Another is completeness test or missing data check. So this is a control used to ensure that input has a prescribed amount of data in all the data files. Uh, another is field check or compatibility check test. So this is a control used to ascertain whether characters are appropriate to a field. For example, pay rate must include numeric entries also. Uh, another is field size check. So this is a control that is being used to determine whether the correct number or of characters is entered in the field. Uh, for example, uh, uh, cellular numbers. Cellular phone number should only be 11 digits. Okay. Logic test check. So this is a control that ensures the illogical combination of, of inputs. So if this is a logical combination, it will be rejected. Okay. Sign check. So here a control that tests data for appropriate arithmetic sign. An example of this is hours work should always be positive. Okay. Sequence check. So, this is a control that determines whether records are in the proper order. Redundant data check. Of course, this is a control used to ensure that each record is processed only once. If there is uh, any same uh, transaction, it, may, it will be uh, rejected as well. Another is preformatted screen or pre-printed -pre form. So this pertains to a display of a document with blanks for the data items to be entered okay, by the terminal operator. So this reduces the possibility that operators will miss out on any necessary fields because they know what to write on those blanks. Okay. Uh, another, okay, after the input controls, so we go now to the processing control. So this is the second uh, type of CIS application control. So processing controls, these are controls over processing and uh, computer data files to ensure that all transactions are keyed in are being processed by the computer and the data files are properly stored and secured. As well as processing errors are identified and corrected in a timely basis. So this is the purpose of our processing controls. So almost all of the input controls can also serve as our processing controls because in this case they are integrated in the computer system to identify any errors during the processing. So we have here the following uh, controls that should be considered in the processing controls. So we have the run total run-to-run -run total. So this control ensures that records are not added or lost during the processing activity. Key integrity. So this, re uh, this is our uh, records key. So this is a group of values in designated fields that uniquely identify the record. So no application process should be able to alter the data in this key field. So that's very important in processing. Uh, another is checkpoint restart capacity. So it will allow jobs that are interrupted to restart. Okay, the job restarts from the point where it was interrupted instead of starting over again at the beginning, especially if there are power outages. Um, files that were already backed up are skipped and only the remaining files are backed up when the job is being restarted. Okay, another is error controls. So error detection control. Um, it ensures that errors occurring in the individual transactions during the processing will be rejected. Okay, so this is often made possible by logging errors in a suspense files. Okay, so those are for the processing controls. And lastly is the output controls. Okay, for the output controls, uh, these are similar also to our processing controls, but they are for output pur purposes to ensure accuracy and reliability of the data generated. 
So we have here uh, the the output controls are designed. Okay, the, its purpose is uh, uh, it will result or the results of processing are accurate. Access to output is restricted only to those authorized personnel. Output will be provided to appropriate authorized personnel on a timely basis. Okay. So, if the controls over input and processing are effective, only a visual check of the output will be necessary. So, that's how efficient computers is okay, in processing the data. Okay. So, those are for uh, the CIS application controls.